Hey, what's going on? What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy G Dub, G Shock Warrior, three ones. Coming at you guys today, some day in some year. Why do I never know the day? August 9th. And the only reason I know this is because my birthday was yesterday. Yeah, if you didn't know, my birthday was August 8th. But, um, welcome to my little Shock the World Experience mini series I've got going on for you guys. Honestly, I can't tell you what video number this one will be because they're not in order. I still have a bunch of videos that I need to edit before I can put them up. So this could be the third, the fourth, the fifth part, but just bear with me. And if you watch the whole series, you're going to get pretty much an idea of what the last two days were like. Um, if you guys didn't know, Shock the World was August 7th, Wednesday. And then August 8th, there was an athlete signing at the G-Shock Soho store in New York where um, most of their athletes were there. So I'm going to break down. Um, in this video, I'm going to break down everything I picked up except for watches. Um, I picked up one, two, three, four, four watches over the past couple of days. And um, I've yet to receive one. <laughs> I'm waiting for one of friends holding it for me. I kind of lend it off towards the end of the Shock the World event in hopes that they could get it signed by Mr. EB, and they did. And hopefully, one day in time, it'll get to me. So, till then, let's break down. What I'm going to break down in this video is absolutely everything else that's not watches. I'm going to leave the four watches I picked up for one video. And then I got a major trade on the way, too. I'm going to give you guys those vid if I haven't made a video on those watches already. Um, give you guys those watches and then so be it but this is part one of the pickup um pretty much set pick up of all the goodies and then it's all the watches and then um yeah we can go on with the series somehow now i'm gonna start with the swag bag you guys don't know what a swag bag is at every shock the world event they give you guys a swag bag. Is it everybody gets one? It just depends on what's in your bag and what's not in your bag. Um, this is what the swag bag looks like. It looks a lot like last year's. Um, 30th anniversary, nice Cordura bag. 30th anniversary, G Shock New York has that Eric Hayes logo on one side, and then it's a plain black side on the other. Now inside your swag bag, um, this I'll show you what everybody got first. Everybody got one of these one of these guys right here now flip it to the other side the cover page 30th anniversary black on black you see it right there print and then you see g-shock going down diagonally beautiful beautiful watch i i mean <laughs> so used to saying watch um, book. I was. I haven't been. I haven't had a chance to look through the whole book or read it like I did last year's. If you guys didn't see last year's, that's last year's over there. It's a hard cover. This year's a soft cover. Um, it doesn't matter because this book is like three times thicker than that one. And I heard this book kicks that one in the butt. Excuse my language, but it does. Um, I heard this book is so much better. It has all the new pickups. It has all the new collabs. If you haven't seen them yet. Um, it has a timeline for you, but it has everything from Louis Vito's piece to the new Range Man to the new um, GBX 6900, which is the um, XL 6900, which is to come out. Right, right, I think, or is it GDX the new 6900? Well, there's the SC. Soho's just got those in today. Um, but yeah, everything to the new Era collab to the Eminem collab, the Louis Vito collab, um, everything. This is everything that's going to come on. This is the book last year that um, spoke about the clot and all the other stuff that was going to come out, the stuff that we weren't, we didn't really know about. Here's an article on the, on the Undefeated. There's a new era. If you haven't seen a picture of that, here's a Louis Vito piece I got to see in person on Louis' wrist. Beautiful, beautiful watch on an 8900. It's awesome. Um, there's your Eminem. You know about that. If you're not following me on Instagram, G underscore D U B one one one, you're missing out on this. I was I was actually um posting pictures during the event of stuff that was going on, wrist shots, a picture of Mr. E B, a picture of Eminem when he came on, everything. Um, Nigel Sylvester, Stevie Williams, these are all their athletes, Louis Vito, Joel who actually couldn't make it to the signing, I was really, really upset, but you'll see that. But yeah, this is the first thing you get in the in the swag bag. Is the brand book. 
Um, put that aside. Second thing you get in the swag bag. Everybody gets one of these. Now you say what that is. Um, it's a mag light. Pop it open. See? G-Shock mag light. You got the cap is up top, then you got the mag light, and then you got a key ring. It's a brand new key ring. I used it, tried it on. Sick mag light. You can move it from, like, wide to close into, like, a small, like, beam of light. Really, really nice mag light. It's awesome. It was nice that they threw that in there. Um, it has a 10-year warranty, all that good stuff. It's pretty much like, I don't know, like owning a G-Shock mag. It's actually shock, resi well, shock and water resistant, too. So, yeah. Close that up for you guys. So, everybody gets one of these. Um, something else everybody gets is a piece of paper in your swag bag. Right here. Piece of paper in your swag bag. See this? G-Shock. And then those are the terms and conditions with the little G, man. He's such a G. Um, this is a card. <laughs> Provides a coupon to the Soho store. Now, the what, the, what would be the display of the watch where it says 10% off is a scratch off. You scratch it off, and it can be up to 30% off your next purchase at Soho, which is really nice because you can consider you buying a $6,900, $100, 30% off is $70. So it's, it's probably something between 10 and 30 that varies. So... Everybody gets one of these. Um, one more thing that came in some swag bags. I don't know if it came in all of them, but um, what had happened was is we were there for a while after the event, and when we walked outside, there was swag bags laying everywhere. It was just like some people who just don't appreciate what was going on just laid them out everywhere. And we, we ran around, picked up these swag bags, put it all together, and kind of cleaned up everything. And at the end, we were left with some stuff. We saw some bags had some things. Other bags didn't have anything. But um, this is, it looks cool. It looks like a bracelet because it is a bracelet at first. Really, really heavy bracelet. It's really nice. But what it actually is, is check this out. There was one of these last, at last year's event too. It's actually a flash drive. Not just a cheap flash drive. This is actually a 2 gigabyte flash drive. that awesome? You close it up, I had it on for a little bit, it's really heavy, it's like having a watch on basically. Um, but yeah, that comes in also in some swag bags. And then of course some swag bags had the 30th anniversary piece. Like last year they did it with the DW6900 SN1, they kind of wrote 30th anniversary in New York 2013, so on and so forth. They did a, they did one this year, um, the white 6900 CS model, I'll show you guys in the pit, in the watch pickup video. But I'm um, alright, so that was enough for that. I have a couple extras, cut extra bags, extra mag light, extra brand book. But um I'm gonna give those away to people that didn't go to get them to go to the event. I gave Kevin, my boy from Jersey yesterday, when I saw him at the uh, at the signing, I gave him pretty much his own swag bag because he didn't get to go to the event. So I just here, <laughs> it's like you went and I just gave it to him. Um yeah, but um I know Crispy wants the mag light. Um the coupons, I don't think anybody's going to be able to use unless you live in the G-Shock like Soho vicinity, pretty much. Um, I got two extra brand books. Crispy's probably getting one of them. And then we'll see about the second one. And then, that was the seventh. Great night. Great event. Really eventful. Go back to my hotel. I stayed in a hotel in Queens, about 10 minutes where I grew up. I actually got to see my old neighborhood. Last last yesterday on the eighth day of my birthday, so it was big. I hadn't been there in eight years. I'm going back to my old neighborhood, saw my old building, apartment building. Saw some of my old neighbors. Got to see them. That was that was awesome. Um, saw where I went to elementary school, where I went to middle school, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. So that was huge. Um, but then after that, we went to the G-Shock Soho store, and there was a signing. There was an athlete signing, and everybody. Um, they made a poster for the people that were going to be there. Joel was the only one that didn't get to be there, and it happens. He had to take a flight out. I don't know why. I don't remember, but everybody. Louis Vito was there. Louis Vito just got a collab. I showed you guys a black and blue 8900, and he signed it. Or did Stevie sign it where it says Louis? Did Stevie sign that there? Then where did Louis sign it? Did he sign it here? 
I think that's his signature. Because I know Gabe signed it over here. At his picture like he was supposed to. It's Gabe Kling, G-Shot, sponsored, surfer. He was there at the event. You'll see the video of the signing. Nigel Sylvester came late, but I had him sign my poster, even though I have a poster signed by Nigel right there anyway. But I had him sign up the poster. I'm guessing Stevie signed it here, where it should have been, because that clearly says Stevie, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to go with that Stevie signature. Don't ask me why. He signed it there. <laughs> and then... Um, his kazoo signature, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to give him that. He's awesome. He's a cool guy. They're all cool guys. They're all really, really nice. Can hold conversations really well. And, um. Uh, no, that's Stevie. So then. Oops. But. There's only five of them there. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't even get to look at it. One, two, three, four, five. What am I missing? Gabe, Nigel, Stevie. Gabe, Nigel, Stevie. Is there another? But there's six pictures. So, Gabe, Nigel, Stevie. So, uh, maybe this is Louis' signature. Then why does. Doesn't that look like an S? It does, right? Oh, I'm just losing my mind. Well, there's the signatures. Don't mind me. I'll figure it out. Stevie Williams, Nigel Sylvester, Gabe Kling, Kazoo. I can never pronounce his last name right. And Louis Vito. I'm assuming that's Louis' signature. I guess. But, yeah. This was the poster. It's going up somewhere along this wall. I don't even... I'll figure it out. I guess. Um, I picked up a pen there, too. I picked a pen. Do, 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 Am I really not going to find that pen? All right, well, I figure out where the pen is. Sorry, guys. It's, it's been hectic. I haven't gotten much sleep the past couple of days. I can show you guys that I've been getting my 30th anniversary book signed. Friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Tango Moon X, that's been there a while. Um, this was the wristband for the event. It's a GDX 6900. Um, 6 o'clock, Wednesday, 8-7, that was the date. <clears throat> 6 o'clock is when they started, the press conference started. That's Mr. EB's signature. He actually signed it, it didn't come on the wristband. <laughs> And then to the back, um, Stevie. Oh, I guess that is Louis' signature. Look at that. Stevie, Louis, Gabe, Kazoo, and Nigel's on here anyway. Nigel's right there. So, yeah, so this book is growing. So I run into people, I have them sign that. Oh, psh, there's a pen somewhere. What the hell? Mag light. Last drive, don't mind the box, don't mind the watches. I showed you guys all that. You don't need to know what that is yet. Is it in here? Did I throw it in here? It would be like me to throw it in here. I didn't throw it in there though. Alright, well, it's a black pen. Oh, I'll just use my brother's. Because I got my brother one too. <laughs> this was at the signing yesterday. <laughs> Boom. That's the Soho store number. G Shock Soho. If you ever want to call. Nice pen. I got one flying around somewhere. I just don't know. Where. But, yeah, that's it. Computer's open on YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's taking over my life. I just finished unpacking. Yeah, but um, I'm signing off. I got work today. What am I going to wear? A piece you guys haven't seen that I got yet. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Hella. Thank you, Hella. Thank you, Hella. I don't know what you want me to call you, but I'm going to thank you. Because you say people don't thank you. In videos, you, you, homie, you, you're my. I told you, I shocked the world <laughs> when I need a doctor came on. You, my, you're my Dr. Dre, homie, to your M. I'm just, you, uh, I just, I just thank you, like, thank you for everything you have ever done for me. Um, shout outs to Corey, Tycho, Chris, Phyllis, um, everybody who was at the event, 
I'll probably name them at some other video. For this one, it's going on 15 minutes. I got to sign off. You guys saw all the goodies. You'll see all the watches. You'll see the videos. I still got a surprise for you guys. I got videos for days. All right, I'm signing off. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. The East Coast.